Is it an alien ship? A comet? Scientists and researchers are left puzzled. Although first contact has occurred, what do you think? CERN transmitted a signal to an interstellar object, 3I Atlas, and it returned a response in 9 minutes. Their collider had been used to open a portal to communicate with extraterrestrial beings, and one of them may be the individuals from 3I Atlas. That's a round trip faster than light, and it's just the start of the mystery. The return signal wasn't a gridding, it was a complex mathematical proof. What evidence, you ask? A technique resulting in our most advanced physics appeared simple. But what many overlooked is that the message didn't just say we are here. It told us where they are going next. And it could be closer than you think. Why is 9 minutes such a terrifying number? The group settled in for a long, tense wait. Coffee was brewed, and the low hum of machinery filled the control room. Based on the comet's position, over 80 million miles away at that moment, the laws of physics were unmistakable. A one-way trip for a radio signal traveling at the speed of light should take about 15 minutes each way, in total, 30 minutes, give or take a few moments. At best, they anticipated hearing their own signals faint, degraded echo half an hour later. Most believed they would get nothing at all. However, that is not what transpired. Only 9 minutes and 20 to seconds after their transmission cut off, the receivers lit up with a jolt. The signal was crisp, potent, and incredibly intricate, coming directly from the trajectory of 3 I Atlas. The control room was submerged in stunned silence. A nine-minute response was impossible. It went against Einstein's theory of relativity, the absolute speed limit of the universe. It was like receiving a letter in the mail from someone on the other side of the planet just nine minutes after you sent yours. It simply could not happen. Then, as the shock faded, frantic energy replaced it. Alarms blared, not from an error, but from a signal strength so high it was off the charts. Every sensor was checked. Every diagnostic was run. The result was unavoidable. The signal was real. The source was locked on 3i Atlas. And the message itself? Pure mathematics. But on a scale that dwarfed their simple prime number sequence, the object hadn't just said hello back. It had replied with a complex data stream that started with a sequence defining the fine structure constant, a fundamental constant of physics, to a degree of precision hundreds of times greater than any human calculation before. It was knowledge so advanced it was like a caveman receiving a blueprint for a smartphone. The shocking part, this response, to immediate to be possible, was in the greeting. It was a statement of superiority, 3i Atlas or whatever intelligence controlled it, hadn't just heard our whisper, it had roared back in response. The return numbers were more than a physics lesson. They were a blueprint, a translation of an alien equation. The transmission lasted only three seconds, yet contained more information than humanity had ever sent into space in its entire history. After confirming the fine structure constant, a number governing the very strength of light and matter interaction, the mathematical order changed. Knowing this number with such precision implied a complete mastery over the universe's forces. To them, manipulating electromagnetism might be as simple as shaping clay is to us. Then, the signal began describing a series of geometric relationships, patterns in multiple dimensions that even our best supercomputers struggled to model. The screens filled with elegant, rotating structures that seemed to defy logic, existing in 11 dimensions at once. What many initially overlooked was that this wasn't just abstract math. It looked like a set of instructions, a blueprint for a machine or process that operated on physical principles humanity had only speculated about in the wildest science fiction. The equations seemed to describe a way to manipulate spacetime at a quantum level, to literally fold the fabric of reality. It was, to put it mildly, the key to everything, faster than light travel, and ending communication, limitless energy that ignored distance. This raised a terrifying question, was this a gift or was it a test? Crazy theories abound about receiving advanced alien technology, but the reality would be far more dangerous. Handing a book of matches to an infant is risky. Handing the secrets of spacetime manipulation to a species like ours could mean disaster. Analysts at clandestine meetings around the world argued that the signal was a filter. Any civilization capable of understanding and constructing the numbers described might be deemed ready. Any civilization unable to, or destroyed by the knowledge, was not. The nine-minute response time suddenly made sense. It wasn't just about showing off faster-than-light capability. It was the first part of the test, greater than can you even comprehend how we are talking to you. Our answer, 
for now, was a resounding no. The implications were staggering. 3i Atlas was no longer just a comet. It was a probe, a messenger, perhaps even a cosmic library card. The object itself was likely just a vessel, a natural-looking shell designed to carry information through the galaxy, a needle in a cosmic haystack. Its journey may have begun thousands, even millions of years ago, from a star system so distant we may never see its light. It was a message in a bottle, thrown into the cosmic ocean, waiting for someone clever enough not only to see it but to ask it the right question. We had asked with a simple string of prime numbers. It had answered with the secrets of the universe. Now, the burden of that knowledge was ours alone. 